Hello everybody, my name is Lisa and this is Wes. And you're traveling with the L's. We have this trip that we've had planned for over 18 months now and the day is finally here. We left this afternoon and we're in Philadelphia. We are staying at the Delta uh, Philadelphia Airport. It's five minutes away from the shuttle. But bright and early tomorrow morning, we're gonna be heading over to the airport. We're gonna be taking a flight to Chicago. Oh, then, then we're going to Seattle. Yes, we're very excited about Seattle. We're gonna spend two days there, but the creme de la creme of the trip is not Seattle, it's Alaska. We are gonna be going on a seven day cruise with the Norwegian, we'll be on the Encore. And we're very excited about the ports of call. There's some really neat ones. We got uh, first stop is gonna be in Juneau where we're gonna see a glacier and go on a whale watching expedition. And then the next stop is gonna be Skagway. And there is the White Pass Yukon Railroad. We're doing that. And then we're gonna walk around the town a little bit. And uh, the third day I think is the big day. What's that? That's Glacier Bay. That's the whole reason we picked this boat because only two boats, two cruise ships are allowed in the bay a day. So we wanted to make sure we got in Glacier Bay because I'm very excited to see the glaciers. So the Encore does go in. So that'll be an exciting, beautiful time. I cannot wait to see the scenery and maybe some animals, maybe some whales, maybe some bear, moose. We'll Perfect. see. We'll, we'll see. We'll hope the weather holds out and it turns out to be a uh a great trip and then on the way back then we're stopping in Ketchikan and so we're just gonna walk around Ketchikan it looks like a pretty scenic area there right by the uh, port we're gonna walk around there check out a few things and uh, decide if we want to do anything or not or just sightsee that's it and then finally we're coming back to uh, Victoria British Columbia for just an evening there and then back into Seattle so this is the first stop it's right here at this hotel it's a Delta uh, looks pretty nice. The uh, we got a nice king bed. We got a good location. We got to get an early flight out in the morning, so uh, it looks like this is gonna be a comfortable spot to get started from. Yeah. So the next time we see you, will be Seattle. Seattle. And we're gonna do a lot of stuff in Seattle too. So we're gonna try a whole bunch of different uh, th foods down at the Pikes Place Market, and so we're gonna do that. We got the Space Needle on on the agenda too. Chihuly Garden and whatever else fun things we can uh, figure out to do within a, a day and a half that we're spending there, so. And we're super excited because the weather looks good. Usually Seattle's rain, but we looked ahead and it looks like we're gonna have nice weather. So hopefully we get some good video, some good pictures that we can share our trip with you. Come along, travel with us. We, we're very happy to share this trip with you. And we might have some pointers for anybody that's planning their trip to Alaska. We're first timers and we really appreciated those videos. So we want to do a video for you. That way you know what to expect and we can help you out with that. We're staying in 3020 of the Grand Hyatt in Seattle. When you first come in, you have a nice nightstand, bamboo, Look, it's even real. Gonna step in. First thing we're gonna look at is our bathroom. Very grand, just as the name says, Grand Hyatt. Look at that shower. Fantastic, you could have a party in there. Sink, nice mirror, place to do your makeup, girls. Marble, plenty of towels. And to the right, we have our, our closet. And what goodies do we have in here? If you need extra pillows, there's a safe. If you're looking for an iron and an ironing board, there it be. Even an umbrella. Of course, you need an umbrella in Seattle, but thank goodness today we don't. Okay, so we have a little area where you can sit. If you're fighting for mirrors, here's another especially if you got more than one female. There you go. And we're gonna walk over here. Let's just look at the situation for plugging in phones. 
Oh, we're good. We have some here. We have a plug in here. Now we're in a king room. Very modern and real high ceilings. So it makes it look even bigger. Okay, now let's go over here. Underneath is where you have your coffee. You have several different kinds in your creamer. You can get your caffeine on in the morning. Let me close that. Got some nice drawer storage. On this side, we have our refrigerator, big TV, woohoo, desk. If you have to do any work, but who wants to do work in Seattle? Not me. All right, and here we got a comfy chair for looking out at this view. Look at this. This is what the 30th floor will get you. Facing the bay. So tonight, I'm excited to see how this looks tonight with the lights on. Downtown Seattle, everybody. And if you can zoom in, that's about all the further I can zoom in. There's our uh, Pike's Place Market. We're gonna go there and get our grub on. We haven't eaten since early this morning. So we're gonna get our bellies full down there. And we're gonna take some videos of the food that we eat and critique it. I'm sure it's all gonna be delicious, but we wanna share that with you. So we're gonna head down to the market and we'll get some video for you there. All right, so we stopped here and we got the Poroski Poroski. This is the the beef and cheese. Wow, look at that. Oh, it looks delicious. It's, it's super high. It just came out of the uh, the fryer, so mm. give us your opinion. It's really good. It's like a flaky croissant almost with the beef and the cheese. You gotta try this when you're down here. I got the uh, steak and the onion, Poroski Poroski. Tell us how it is. It's very good, but I'd say it's a little bit on the greasy side, would be my opinion of it. It's almost like a, uh, a barbecue mix in the middle of it with some cheese in it. But very tasty. A little bit, a little bit sticks to your fingers. You can tell it's deep, it's like a deep fried, uh, Dough. Pastry. So, yep. Very good dough. This is the uh, Pike's Place. It rolls right out to the waterfront here. You see construction going on here. They got the giant wheel. The aquarium right here. And off in the distance, you can see the uh, football stadium down there.
because Lisa's favorite part was the gum alley. She's been looking for a piece of gum all day and finally found a whole pile up there. Got gum from wall to wall. Nature's homemade cheese. Delectables, and I decided to try the mac and cheese. This is so good. That is good mac and cheese. Is it really that good? Yours is the best. So, how, is it better than yours? It's pretty good. It seems like there's a little bit of spice to it, though. Just so, a tiny bit. So, they got a secret spice ingredient. That's what it is. Yeah. Mine's right. not spicy. This has a little spice. You want to see it up close? So here's down on the waterfront here. A lot of construction going on right now there on the waterfront. And then they got the uh, space deal out in the distance. We're going to check out the carousel. You can see the space needle over there. We're in the harbor here. We got some boats going out. I think they're ferry boats taking people across. We got some cruise ships up at the end there, getting ready to cast off later this evening here. It was $17 to do this. So we'll see how lot long the ride lasts, whether it was worth it or not. I was hoping we could see whales, but nope, I don't see the whales. And then now off in this distance, you have the football stadium out there. It's hot in here. Oh, here comes the air. Must have heard me. This is day two in Seattle. It's a beautiful morning. And we just wanted to come and on and explain a little bit about what we're looking forward to, to today. But before we do that, we just wanted to give you the experience that we had with traveling over from the airport to our hotel. Well, when we got to the airport, we thought, well, of course, we were going to do an Uber. We thought that was going to be the way to go. But the Uber was all jammed up and backed up and we couldn't really even get through. So we went straight down to the taxi stand. And we looked there, they actually had the prices laid out on the taxi stand for downtown Seattle was like $40. So we figured that was gonna be as cheap as an Uber. So why not try that? So we went down, we got into the taxi. And of course it was just a little Prius, you know, that tiny car, but uh, he loaded our luggage and we, off we went. He, the uh, driver was insane. I mean, we, we almost <laughs> wrecked the, he almost wrecked the car about six times. And I, I mean, two of them were really close where people had to swerve almost to get out of his way. It's one of those, <laughs> those nightmare drivers you don't ever want to be with. But uh, he got us here really quick. I'll say that for him. And uh, the final price was, was $45. And I gave him a $5 tip on that. So I thought that was pretty reasonable. I don't even think we could have got an Uber at that time of day for that price. So it really did work out. And most important thing is we survived it and uh, it got us here pretty quick, so we can't complain about that. I bet the ride was only, I only think it was 20 minutes so from the airport. I mean, he, he was flying the whole time. But we got here and we're okay. But we did overhear somebody that did use an Uber and they paid 70. Um, and, and I do think those taxi drivers are under duress to, to do as many trips as they can, so. It worked he, out. It yeah, worked out we, were, we, we got here in one piece. Yep. So now what we're going to do today. Uh, it's probably, we're talking about maybe about 9 o'clock now. We're about ready to go down to the uh, Pike's Place again. We want to just check that out. Maybe get a little something quick for, for breakfast this morning. And then we're heading over to the Pier 66, which is just, just out of sight of our, our hotel. It's behind a couple other buildings, so we can't see it. But there's a the big ship is in there now. It's the Norwegian Bliss, and that's exactly where ours is going to be going out of tomorrow. The Norwegian Encore. So we're going to walk down, get a little lay of the land, see where everything's at, where we drop our bags off, what's all is involved, and after we do that, 
then we're going to head up to Space Needle and Chihuly Gardens that we're going to be doing. And I want to say one thing quick too is we actually made a mistake buying our tickets. I bought tickets for the wrong weekend. It, I don't know what happened, but anyhow, it must have been the wrong date. I was very easy able to go on. The website cancel those tickets and then get a refund and then get tickets for today. So that was very easy. I want to say that if you make a mistake, just go right on that can cancel and you'll be able to get exactly what you want. Thank goodness. I was just a little panicked, but it worked out. So today, the Space Needle, we should be able to get some good video and shots from the top of the Space Needle. It's, it's, there's a little bit of haze, but they're saying there's a little bit of smoke. So could be some wildfires over up in Canada coming down and creating a little bit of a haze, but we should get some good shots of Seattle from the top of the Space, space Needle. Now, Chulili Gardens might be guarded. I don't know whether we can take photos or videos of the glass sculptures. We'll see when we get there. I'm hoping that we can get something to share with you, especially those of you that are friends and family. We would like you to see that, but those that are making plans to come will definitely tell you whether that's a place you wanna to go to or not. So stay tuned for later on. Uh, again, this is day two in Seattle. So we are so happy that you can come traveling with, with the owls. We're on our way up now to uh, see the Space Needle at Chihuly Gardens. There we are. It's a little high. Let your stand beside it. We'll soon be going inside. So we made it up here on top of the Space Needle. Take a quick look at the view. It is pretty spectacular. Just as bright and clear a day as you could ask for. Well, a little bit of smoky haze, but it's still nice. So here's the view over by the, the pier where our ship's gonna be taken off tomorrow. The view from up here is amazing. It's bright and clear. Wow. Why is it better in here? Because it's air conditioned. We're looking down, straight down here. Chihuly Gardens are right below us here. That's where we're heading to next. Oh, we're at the Chihuly Garden of Glass now. What's your expectation here? I think it's going to be beautiful. I can't wait. I'm hoping that we can take pictures and video.
day three, we just wanted to give you an overview of what we thought of the hotel and the city itself. Let's start with the hotel. We're in the Grand Hyatt. It's in a perfect location. If you want to enjoy the city, we were able to walk to all the locations. Right straight down the street is the public market that we could walk to. Um, we walked yesterday to the Space Needle, to Chewed Lily Gardens. The waterfront is very easy to get to. Plus this hotel is situated right in the shopping district if you like the high-end shopping. You have Nordstrom, Tiffany's, Saks of Fifth Avenue, North Face, Uniglow. There's quite a few shopping areas up here if you like to shop. Also too, I wanna to say that the hotel is, was we were very happy. We didn't really discover it immediately, but there's a, a Starbucks that's attached to the hotel. You can access it from the street or the hotel. And there's also a little uh, New York deli right beside too. It has all kinds of sodas and beer and wine and they make sandwiches. They got all the little things that you might need a, you know, a couple little things for your trip or for your day. You can buy right there. You don't have to walk all over town looking for things. So that was very nice. And we did also set up a shuttle from this hotel right to the Pier 66 for our Norwegian Encore. And that was gonna be $17 a person for that. So, but in reality, that probably was worth it because you would have had to get a taxi to go straight down here. There's so much construction going on. You can't even get across to the actual Alaska Way, which is where the boat is docked. And you, without going down steps or going around, it's just too much of a hassle. So we got the shuttle from the air, from the uh, hotel. Now a little bit of discussion about the city. We enjoyed the city. Uh, there was a lot of fun things to do and we didn't even get to, to do a lot of what's here. Uh, there's a, we could spend a week here and find things to do. That being said, we do have a slight warning and Les will tell you about that. Well, I didn't, I thought it, it is safe to walk around. Don't get me wrong. It, I, we felt safe during a day walking around. But as things get towards the evening or early in the mornings as you're trying to walk around, a lot of homeless people on the streets and just laying everywhere. And it, so it just sort of ruins the experience a little bit. So that's the one drawback of it. You know, if you just avoid them, keep away from them, you'll be fine. But I certainly wouldn't recommend going out after dark because I don't think it's uh, be wise to do so. I have to really give props to the city because first thing in the morning they have their crews out. We saw them all over the place spraying down the sidewalks, picking up the litter from the night before and just making it look nice again. So they worked really hard here in the city to try and keep it, it nice for the tourists. But again, just, just be careful not recommended to be out after dark if you can help it. We hope that you enjoyed our little overview of Seattle. Um, hopefully you got to see something. Oh, there was one thing I wanted to say about Pike's Place Market, just one. If you're watching all the videos of the places to go eat, there was one that I really wanted to go to. It was Eleanor's Homemade Greek Yogurt. I was so excited to try that. They're not open. So right now, we don't know what the reason was. So if you're watching those videos and that's on your list to try, they're not open right now. If you like Starbucks, which most people like Starbucks, don't waste your time standing that long line down there. That's, that's ridiculous. That, you probably get a waste an hour of your day right there standing in line at that original Starbucks down on, in Pike's Place. That's a worthless. You, there's there's, there's dozens everywhere. of Starbucks all over the place. Everywhere. Just stop at a different one, get what you want. It, it's not worth standing in line. You're, you're gonna waste time. It's gonna ruin your day because you're not gonna be able to get time to do other things that you really want to do. So, just yeah. a warning. That's that yeah. Line take, was ridiculous. take a picture and keep walking. Yeah. Thank you for watching these videos on Seattle. And again, my name is Lisa. And I'm Les. And, and you're, you're traveling, traveling with, with the elves. elves.